I'm Michael Longacre at Stanford University. I'm discussing an experimental article. It's from a first-rate group um, in Chile. What's important for me about this article is that it addresses a huge unmet need in clinical plastic surgery. How you reconstruct full thickness skin defects has enormous implications for many aspects of reconstructive surgery. Full thickness defects present problems after traumatic injury, after burns, after tissue excisions for a variety of reasons. The hypothesis this group explored was an elegant one. That is, they said, can they use an autogenous stem cell source, in this case, an adipose-derived stromal cell from the inguinal fat pad and combine it with a commercially available product that's used to treat full thickness skin defects. So they used autogenous fat-derived stem cells from a rat inguinal fat pad, combined it with Integra, and put that on full thickness defects on the back of the same animal with and without the addition of the adipose-derived stromal cells. The results of this um, experimental study were interesting in that the authors showed that at one week, two weeks, and three weeks after the experimental procedure, that they showed a statistical increase of blood vessels that were had grown into the uh, dermal matrix from the Integra product that had been mixed with autogenous fat-derived stromal cells compared with uh, Integra dermal matrix that was not mixed with the stem cells. Secondly, they saw increased levels of collagen type 1 by picroserious red staining, um, another significant difference. What they did not see evidence for was a difference in wound closure rates or the re-epithelialization rates between the two experimental groups. I think this article uh, is important for PRS readership because it keeps plastic surgeons in the center of the adipose-derived stem cell world and leverages this cell population into uh, wound closure and tissue, in this case, skin regeneration. I think that is a very important finding and one that clinical surgeons will be excited to embrace from a translational perspective. I congratulate the authors on an interesting hypothesis and a successful study that I hope that clinical plastic surgeons may readily adopt in translational techniques moving forward.